In today's video, we are going to make some new lampshades for these IKEA lights. First, we're gonna strip the whole thing, take all the paper off. Then we're going to give the base a completely new color. Then obviously we're gonna build a lampshade. And then we're gonna do something about the wiring because that is a mess. All right, so for the base of the light, I got a matte black spray paint. Um, I actually was kind of going for a bronze look, but they didn't have it. I settled for black. Maybe later when I do find the bronze color, I will simply spray over it. And also I got these plugs. So let's do it. So these lights used to be two separate lights, but they had connected the two lights. So they put a dimmer switch in between, which could be useful. It's just that I, I use those Philips U lights in them. So I really don't need that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these off, bring them back to two separate lights, basically. And then I'll be connecting a plug at the end of the wire so that each light has its own plug again. Just gonna uh, cut it off like that. It's also gonna be a lot easier to move them around if they're not connected. <laughs> I have to take the paper off, but I kind of feel bad. Here. There's a lot of dust coming off. Hmm, let's see, what are we gonna do? You know what? I'm gonna cut them off first so that I don't have like a really big thing in my hands. <laughs> okay. I don't know why this seems so daunting. Let's just cut it off. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So for a bit of context, I got these lights as a few of the first things that I got when I first started living on my own. They have sentimental value. I don't like breaking them apart. <laughs> well, it's easier to work with, right? I'm just gonna lightly sand the base so that the paint will stick better. Let's take it outside and spray paint. I love spray paint. Ah. Okay, let's go. So a while ago I went to the market and I got a beautiful linen look fabric, which is this one. It's really pretty. It's a soft white with like a gray in it. And I actually got it to make some clothing out of it, but it's incredibly itchy. It's very uncomfortable. So lampshade it is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make some calculations and I will just be using these to calculate everything. So I know that the height of the lamp is 134 centimeters. Now let's see what this does. 25 centimeters and it has four sides obviously so we'd need four times the 25 centimeters but then we will have to allow for a seam allowance of six now for the height of the piece i am going to take that 134 and then i'm going to leave some space on the top and on the bottom uh, to fold over that edge of this frame Alright, let's see how this goes. I'm going to fold it over once, then I will bring the other side here, like that. Then I'm going to fold it over again. So I'm essentially locking the other side inside this seam. Now I'm very curious if 
this still fits inside because I am actually notorious for miscalculations. I'd say, I'd say that is pretty good, right? Let's sew it up. parts that I've made this mistake before. The good news is that I actually found out before I started sewing this time. I folded this, right? I just showed you. If I'm going to turn this inside out later, which we will have to, then the ugly side of this seam will be visible. And we don't want that now, do we? So I'm gonna have to do this part again. Just gonna make sure that this lies flat. I don't know. Definitely gonna need to iron it. All right, so it's the next day. As you saw before, it fits perfectly fine, but it doesn't fall very pretty. And I think that's because the corners are too, like too soft. So I'm going to iron the corners so that it, it's more like a square and hope that that works. Okay, let's try that again. about how we're gonna attach this to the frame. I'm thinking the best thing is just to just sew them on by hand. Yeah, I think that's best. So now that the lampshade is on, all we need to do now is attach the plug to the wire so that we can actually use it as a standalone light. Now, I don't actually have one of those tools that you need to strip the wire. So I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife. I actually always do this. It's not the best way to do it. I know, we're doing it anyway. All right, let's do it. 